All right, I pulled the Kubota in here um, yesterday. I did like a real quick wash just to try to get the dirt off of it. Um, I'm kind of going over some stuff, um, doing some winter prep, even though we're already into the new year with winter. Uh, we haven't had any snow where I'm at in eastern Pennsylvania. Been look pretty lucky, um, some might say. And uh, I did get some paint. I'm going to try to uh, just like lightly scuff this with a wire brush and, um, you know, blow some paint on it, try to help keep it from rusting. We are busy going over the rest of the tractor and um, basically I'm cleaning everything up, uh, wiping off some of the excess grease. Um, I'm going to use some cleaner on the plastics and the painted areas uh, to try to help preserve them, maybe throw a coat of wax on them. Um, just for sun, you know, help hold the color a little bit better. So that's kind of where we're at right now. Um, I did, uh, get a lot of the grease off. I did wipe some of this area down and was working on some of this. I got some of the blue shop towels. So I'm going to do that. Um, there's also one other thing I'm going to try to do, and that is, um, take the loader off the tractor for the first time. So that should be pretty fun. And, uh, you know, it hasn't been off since I've had it. It's almost been... I think February might be three years or two years. So um, February's two years, I think. So we've got another month and we'll, we'll have it a, a full two or three years. I, I, I can't even remember. It's been so long. It's been part of me. Um, so we're going to try that. We're going to try to remove that um, and, uh, you know, see how that goes. See what the tractor looks like without the loader on for the first time uh, since owning it. And, uh, yeah, so... Let's get this bucket, bucket prepped up here for a little bit of paint. I'm going to show you the stuff that I got. I'm really curious as far as what the color match is going to be. And, uh, you know, maybe it's something that you can apply to what you're doing. Um, I know that the paint's not really going to stay. It's more or less just, uh, you know, I'll paint it and it'll come off. And it'll help keep it from rusting over the winter while I'm using it for some snow. So that's uh, that's the plan there. So, um, yeah. Let's see what we can make this look like. seen I did move outside and I did get a good coat on everything I brought it inside it's still kind of tacky it's been sitting here for about an hour now <clears throat> um, the paint seems to cover pretty good I mean it's a higher gloss finish than what's on the rest of the tractor but uh, we did get a pretty good coverage on it I mean it's weird how the paint was coming out I mean it'd probably be best to uh, do this in adequate temperature weather but uh, it's actually pretty cool out today. So it's, you know, 40, 50 degrees out, which really isn't the best to try to do any kind of painting. So <clears throat> anyway, we got the heater running over here, as you can see, uh, just trying to dry this thing out. So we're gonna actually work on some of the other stuff and um, see if we can't get some of this grease wiped up off the loader arms and we'll Get ready to take this loader off. was able to um, basically I just kind of wiped all the grease out here you know up and around here double checking everything um, I did get my 
the soot and stuff cleaned off my loader arm for the good part here um did see we kind of did touch up our bucket a little bit which you know that is what it is um i did use some of this just to kind of this stuff's really 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 good it will take the dirt off and i didn't really wash wash this stuff but uh <clears throat> i used some um just some wd-40 that i had about out there was not much in these containers i was just trying to use stuff up worked really good with breaking some of the hard grease down um <clears throat> i mean this stuff removes all kinds of stuff but it even even spraying it on the soot on the control arm on the uh well the control arm, the loader arm here we got most of it off uh there's still a bunch here you can see on these lines right in here and down in this area compared to this side i mean you can see i did a little bit of wiping but what i'm gonna do now is I actually want to see what this thing looks like with the <clears throat> the loader removed. So I got to move a couple things out of the way because I want to come forward here so I have more room. All right. So basically, one of the first steps is <clears throat> when you're uh, going to be removing your loader, so you need to pull these pins, and then these are the support bars. They'll slide out. And they'll spin, but they, they seem to like to hit the loader arm up here. Hopefully that's in frame. And this one here, if you twist it, you can get it out past. <clears throat> Put it on like that. Reinsert your clip. Now let's go check out the other side. Now, over here, you can see this is our arm. And we're going to unhook it, but... It's actually, this part of the arm is actually manufactured the same as the other side. So you can see, hopefully, right here. Now, if you watch, I could slide this out like I did on the other side, but I can't get it to go past the arm there. Kind of like maybe... All right, you know, there we go. We can turn that a little bit. Let's see. We're still are really tight there. So I don't really want to try to force it to, you know, damage anything. So what I'm going to do <clears throat> right now is I'm going to pull this key off here. And if anything, I will take and grind a small edge of this inner piece off on the support bar more so than on the actual arm. This is all we did. We just took this little bit here right off. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to reinstall this like this. And then we can reinstall our pin like that. And we can bring it out against and see if we clear, which we do. And now we have our pin in there. Okay. All right, so now that I have these down, I had to clearance that side just a little bit. We're gonna lay down the front of the loader and get it sitting on these arms. And then you have to tilt it just a little bit and it'll pick the back up and release those pins. So we'll be able to free the pins back here. These right here will slide out and then they drop down in these pin these holes.
have quick disconnects right here. So you'd want to disconnect them one at a time. You will get a little bit of uh, fluid coming out of them. Like I said, this is my first time pulling this off of here. It's all new to me. Now we have some room, so we're going to back the tractor up away from not too bad for my first time ever taking one off um, I'm gonna clean these up a little bit in here and uh, you know get this here clean some um, I can actually get in here uh, my whole plan was to actually get a coat of wax on the paint on the hood and uh, kind of clean some of the plastics along with some of the other parts that are on the tractor so that everything would uh, resist fading a little bit better We just, um, we can finish cleaning this stuff up. We did a little bit. This is, this was all I had out here right now. I have more detail stuff, but I just didn't get to it. So, <clears throat> that's what we used. Um, basically wiped everything down. Kind of tried to get the seat, because I always have the seat up like this. And where it sits, it gets the sun on the back side of this tractor. Um, could really feel I mean if you do any kind of cleaning a car or anything you can still hear it you shouldn't hear anything if that's actually waxed out good there's still contaminants on on the paint but <clears throat> it's a quick coating on it uh, we even did it in across here um, basically my goal was to just try to get stuff cleaned up go over everything double check stuff <clears throat> um, you can actually see where my lines were wearing in because my boot was down it actually the boot seems to be working out pretty good now that it's actually up <clears throat> i did have one scar one scuff mark right through here i don't know if it's picking it up and then you know what i mean tractor damage <laughs> um so right now <clears throat> i have everything ready as far as I want, this is why I pulled this off. Some stuff on there. Um, I pulled this off, okay, uh, just so I could get in here and, you know, get to the side of the tractor, wipe this stuff down. I wanted to get in here, clean this off. Um, I sprayed WD-40 on them, wipe them off, double check them. Being, I mean, it's only the first time I had it off, so I did have to modify that. Support there down there a little bit. Um, <clears throat> everything is, like I said, cleaned up. This gave me the opportunity to get in here and clean both these sides. Inspect all this stuff. Look at that, you know. So, right now, what I'm at, the point, point part that I'm at, is we're going to 
reattach the loader on the tractor and then drop the bucket. I really want to clean these out down here in the quick disconnects and get all, you know, these are more susceptible to dirt than any of these other pins up here on the top side. So we're going to get them all cleaned up and we're going to do a full re-greasing of everything. So <clears throat> right now, um, I have some of this. Uh, I don't know if I want to use this. I have some waterproof grease that I was thinking about putting through these pins and down here. Something that would actually work really good for that. But I mean, this is uh, supposed to be pretty good stuff. So <clears throat> I'm not sure how... Uh, how it works long term but uh <laughs> you know i mean it's excellent for a lot of things so um i'll try this out and i'll run the tractor for a little while now that i have a place to pull it off and i'll check this in a month or two and i'll see how it's actually working here on these pins and um in here like i said on these you can see they're worn but that's normal. I did spray them down with some white lithium lube. <clears throat> I think probably near the time when I got them and then pulled them out and pushed them back in. And that was the farthest I went with removing the loader. Cause like I said, I didn't have any place to actually set this thing. And I didn't want to try putting them on blocks of wood or dirt or anything like that. I just, it wasn't that important to remove it. So <clears throat> that's what we're going to do. We're going to get this thing hooked back up and I'll pull the camera over here on this side. I'll put it up on the tripod. And then we can see it um, from this angle. Um, I'm not sure maybe if I should come from the front. Most of the time you see these from the side or uh, point of view, which is sitting on the seat. So I'm going to get these, uh, these pins lubed up. And uh, then we'll fire this tractor up and we'll get it on. 